Hi, so you join me today and we're actually on the canal and I've come in search of one of the best fish that there is, a tench. My favourite fish, I know it's lots of your favourite fish as well because I've seen it in the comments before and there's nothing better than catching them from a natural venue. So that's what my aim is to do today. Literally nothing complicated, I brought with me some casters and I'm going to run you through I, how I go about targeting tench on natural venues this time of year. So I've literally just finished plumbing my line up, gone 14 and a half metres, just come off of them lilies because I'm hoping for a few big fish along the way and if I get too close they'll be in before I know it. Still going to have a bit of tug of war with these ones if we hook some that is, but I've come away 14 and a half metres on my dolly butt and I'm just about to kick start my swim. So to kick start my swim I'm literally going to feed that many casters, like just a pinch at bottom, so if you look at it in a cup that's what it looks like. I'm going to get out there, put these in and then go straight over the top with my rig. The reason I'm potting in and not actually loose feeding is because I want all my bait on the bottom. If I lose feed I'm going to draw fish in and they'll come up in the water. So because I'm targeting bigger fish, I've got to keep it all on the bottom. Chip out nice and steady. Get to the end of my pole. Line up with my far bank marker because I want it all down the same hole. And then tip them in. Let's give Pearl a little tap, that gets all them ones that are stuck to the pot out. And that's it, ready to go. Right, so I've literally just cut my casters in. Put them in line with my far bank marker, shipped out and laid my rig in. So I'm just going to see what happens now. Hopefully we'll catch a few fish. If it is a little bit slow, ooh, that's a good sign, a bite or indication, more or less straight away. I'm going to say if it is a little bit slow, I will flick the odd caster in just until a few fish come in my peg. Like I say, I'm trying to target them bigger stamp fish. And to get them, you generally catch them on the bottom because of bottom feeding fish like your tench, your bream, hopefully a big perch or all like that. Whereas your roach and your rud tend to feed through the water. So it's one of them. If, if not's happening, I will flick casters in just to bring a few fish into the peg. But if it's not, then I'm just going to sit over my bait and wait for a bite. Hopefully one of them better fish come along. Lovely day for it now, getting to the back end of the season. So it's when these canals, you can fish them all year round in summer, but they do get a bit weedy. I've never really fished it in summer, to be honest, only as a junior. But I know there used to be a lot of weed about then, whereas now it's just starting to die off. Good fishing it is this time of year. Just as I'm much moving out of them big canals. Oops, what have I got here? probably say I've got a strongest elastic on I've got a nine hybrid on just because if I do work one of them bigger fish I want to get it in I might change over onto a lighter oh, perch, a lighter elastic if I'm catching a, <laughs> nearly not myself out if I'm catching a lot of small fish I will move over onto that light elastic just for a bit of a bit more pleasurable than fishing a nine for them size fish but I don't know what's going to come along. Just going to have to wait and see. And just single caster, not, not too complicated. Previously, when I have done this sort of fishing, I always find that single's just as good as double, but you get more bites on it. So it's, it's one of them. I'd rather get more bites with a chance of hooking a big one than sit there and not hook a big one and not get as many bites. So. Put my rig in. Let's feed a couple over the top. Let it all settle and then drop, drop it in. Oh, bite there straight away. What's this one? It's not too bad, this nine. Oh. 
I don't know if someone chased it then. Another perch. <laughs> They've probably just moved in, just because I've just fed that bait, probably first fish on it, hopefully, and bigger fish will move in, kick the perch out. Oh, that round end. And we will be into a few. But for now, I'm going to catch one more, keep plugging away and I'll join you again soon. Right, so I've just swapped over to the five elastic. That nine was a little bit strong for the size of fish we were catching for now it's one of them this five is a lot better for these smaller fish but not sure if it would quite handle a tench with all these lilies hopefully we don't find out and i switch back over to the nine before we hook a tench but for now while we get going i'm just going to fish on this lighter elastic oh, there we go Not perfect it's a lot better is this i'd have probably bumped that one off on a nine or won't quite have been the same. Well, everyone getting a lot of bites. Little pommies. For them who don't know what a pommy is, one of them, like a little hybrid type thing, bigger eyes and an up north saying, I think, because I get loads of questions about what a pommy is. It's one of them. <laughs> People probably have different names for them, but I don't know what they are, just what we call them, little pommies. You saw that were a lot better than the, what the nine elastic is. It actually pulls a bit of elastic out on strike. I'm going to lay my rig in. Just hold it so it's off bottom. See that line pulling down round. Hold it a little bit and then lower it last bit in. Should settle nicely there. There we go. Is that perfect is this? Oh, there we go, another little little fish. A few fish moved in now. So you're probably thinking when will I change to the bigger elastic? So as you can see at the minute I'm going in getting a little fish and coming back out. I'm not having to wait long for bites. If I start having to wait five minutes or so for a bite, I'd probably think, right, I'll top up a little bit. So I'd put not many in, probably, I don't know, 20, 30 casters. And then I'd put the bigger rig out and sit and wait. Just cause I think that's when the bigger fish are gonna be there. You don't get instant bites. Usually, obviously fishing all can happen anything can come in and take it but normally when there's a few of these little fish here you're literally in float settled and you're waiting a minute tops you get a bite or an indication and it's on whereas with them bigger fish it tends to go a bit quiet beforehand so i'd probably even slip on the the rig to the nine elastic then and go out and have a look and see and then maybe put a bit of bait in oh, this one then but that's when I tend to move across. But for now, while we're getting a lot of bites and indications, in my opinion, it's not worth moving across just yet. This is when we make the, or regret the decision to put the five elastic on. It's about to get some fishing net. <laughs> and um, we've got a great big wobbly thing on end. I presume a tench, but we'll have to wait and see. Ship straight back, obviously, there's all them lilies and stuff around, so. Just got to be careful to keep it out of that. Keep pressure on. And hope for the best, really, see what happens. Not a lot we can do. Just repotted a few more casters in. 
there's a lot of lilies and stuff down edge as well so I've just got to be careful and do my best to keep it away from them but like I say I haven't really got that much control with this five elastic but we'll see what happens doing all right for now a couple of dog walkers walking past so I'll have to move my pole possibly oh, I could maybe get it in to be fair and there it is look look at that big tinker See if they'll lift it up and go under it. This is what we came for, guys. I can't actually see him under this weed. I know he's there somewhere. Is he in? Oh, he's in! <laughs> it disappeared under all the duckweed. In there somewhere is a tench. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Bit of weed with that fish, sir. Get rid of some of this and we'll have a look. There we go. Couldn't actually see him, but it was under control. <laughs> got more, more than just a fish in here. It's actually a lot easier than what I thought with that five elastic pot. As soon as I hooked it, struck into it. Obviously, float didn't move, elastic come out, I thought, worrying. Let's have a, a look at him. I'll sort my rig out and bits after. Covered in weed, but is in the net, which is the main. Nicely hooked in the top of his lip won't come it off let's put that on there all right let's see if I can have a quick hold of him for you get rid of we're still quite lively come on fishy have a look at that beautiful pop him in net i'm gonna go back out and then if i don't get any more i'll refeed in about five minutes time see how it goes i don't want to put any in because i've literally just topped up before that fish so we'll get on with that and see how we get on be a perch slightly bigger fish just gonna be careful and take it apart there and just bring it up beforehand just because it is a I reckon perch bream I wouldn't say tench it's not fighting hard enough definitely a better fish I should really move over onto that heavy elastic after this one, but... What's that? Ooh. It's a tinker! I thought it was a pike at first, it was right long and scrawny, but... I wouldn't have thought it was a tench, it's not really... This elastic isn't that bad after all, is it? It's... Undone it down middle. Just in case, because there's some, obviously, lilies and that close in. That's why I'm playing it down here, so if I pull it back closer and it tries to run down edge, it'll probably do me. So I'm just going to play it down middle, keep it out, and when it's ready, I'll ship back and then bring it up. Take me time. Lovely fish these are. These are fish that we've come for really. Didn't think I'd catch one then though after 
catching them pommies off don't know me mixing but just goes to show how much we know about fishing don't it lovely fish just keeping it out a little bit just so it don't come near these lilies I'll try come on fish oh, it's on that lily there nope He's not happy. Not happy and looks grumpy as hell. Get off that lily. Good job they're dying these lilies. Just sort of pulling over them. I'm gonna get a glance of them in a minute. That nine would be probably better to be fair. Might risk it, have another go, maybe. Always felt like I'm under control, to a certain extent. Obviously it's hard, even with a nine elastic, it would be hard to keep them out of these lilies close, but... It feels like I've got control of him. Or her, I won't be sexist. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to cut in weed again. Yeah. I can't see it, can you? Oh, he's there. Uh, I can see his tail is in. <laughs> so, as you've just seen, big smile on my face, I've just had that tench. So, it's dead important now that we refeed. Obviously, the tench, when you hook it, the bait moves around, it's coming, is at everything. So, we've just got to replenish what he's eaten, basically. So, same again. Little palm full of casters into my cup, and that's enough just to get them fish back in area, grubbing around. No really need to flick casters over the top anymore because there's fish there. Obviously, if you have to go a while without a bite, then flick casters over, brings them back in. But you've got to make sure you've got that little pile of bait, sat waiting, hopefully we'll catch another tench, see how we get on. Make sure you line up with your fire bank marker, all your bait's gone down the same hole. Right to end the pole. Line up. There we go. Little tap, get them ones off that are stuck on your cup. And that's it, trap set again, ready to go. Let's see if there's another one.
Oh. Feels like there's a tench on here, but it's just going from weed bed to weed bed at the minute. Oh, might have come out. <laughs> so we're going to give you a run through the all important rig the bit that does the business technical part but without it we won't catch fish so we'll start at this end with the elastic i've settled on a seven hybrid nine was a little bit strong five was a little bit light nothing wrong with either of them really but for the best of both worlds little fish and tench can't beat the seven Main line, got 013 power. Moving down to the float. This is a 4 by 14 chanty. As you can see from the, the footage that you've already seen, it settles lovely, dots right down to a pimple, shows all indications. Can't get much better than that for this sort of fishing. Then down to the actual shot. So it's strung out number 10s, but tapered. So as you can see, they start off close together and get further apart the closer to the hook you get. So this gets your bait down towards the bottom and then it's just that last foot and a half or so that trickles down and settles lovely on the bottom. And to that, we've got an 010 hook length, power line again to a 16 N20. Don't know what this is, but it could be good old Ian Beal. <laughs> Look at that. I thought it were a bit of a weird fight, I've hooked it. And they just sort of jag their head, they don't. Bit of a weird fighting fish. Not a bad one. This is a fun part. Have you ever tried to net one of these? <laughs> You've got to get tailing first and oh <laughs> Right, tail in. Right. In, in, yes. <laughs> Tricky little buggers here. Look at that. We have a look at him. Good old snake. So there you go. Lovely net of fish. Two beautiful tench. Good old Ian Beale and a load of roach to go with him and perch. What more can you ask for? Lovely days fishing, hope you've enjoyed it, picked up a few tips along the way and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.